Moise Keane has been one of the most inconsistent players for Juventus not only this season but throughout his Juventus career. At times he plays a lot of good matches in a row but after that hot streak ends he turns cold and seems to produce basically nothing on the pitch. Now this problem seems to be a confidence issue considering Moise Keane once upon a time was a highly regarded talent and was basically one of the best talents in Europe. I mean no player just plays for Juventus in the Champions League at age 16 by chance. He obviously came up from the Juventus Academy and 2016 he made his debut for Juventus against some on in a Champions League match against Sevilla. That really shows you what kind of talent Moise Keen has. Throughout that season, he didn't really play much for Juventus, considering obviously Juventus had one of the best teams in Europe and also we were chasing three trophies at a time, the Scudetto, the Coppa Italia and the Champions League, so there wasn't really room for Moise Keen to play, considering most of the time he played the same starting 11. But he did score his first Juventus goal in the last Serie A match, a 2-1 win against Bologna, he scored the winner, it was a great header coming from him. But the next season he got loaned out to Hellas Verona. He started to get consistent minutes playing 1222 minutes for Hellas Verona even though he only played 20 matches but he still chipped in with four goals which to be fair for a young Moise Keen wasn't even that bad considering that he came from one of the best teams in Italy being on the bench for the most part of the season prior to playing matches with Hellas Verona and even scoring a few goals but when he returned to Juventus he didn't start getting minutes until March he played a few minutes against young boys in the Champions League and also played 62 minutes against Bologna in a Coppa Italia game where he actually scored and that's pretty much it apart from one minute against Fiorentina and another minute against Kiva Verona he didn't really play much prior to March of 2019 but in the 8th of March 2019 he had an opportunity to show his quality against Udinese now at the time I obviously knew of Moise Keen because I'd obviously seen the record that he said of the youngest player in the Champions League I also saw his goal against Bologna so obviously I knew who he was but I didn't really see much of him and that Udinese game really really convinced me that he was one of the best talents coming from our academy where he chipped in with two goals it could have been three to be honest because we got a penalty but they gave that to Emre Chan. so it could have been a hat trick and if I believe his first start for Juventus and ever since that game it seemed like he gained the trust of Allegri playing in the 2-0 loss against Genoa he only played 16 minutes obviously came off the bench but then coming off the bench against Empoli he only played 21 minutes but he scored a goal his next match against Cagliari he played 90 minutes scored a goal again against Milan he scored the winning goal for Juventus in that 2-1 win and he even scored against Spal in a 2-1 loss and this run of form that he had really showed us the qualities that he possessed but the next season he was loaned out to Everton with an obligation to buy now this was probably the worst period of Moise Keane's career considering that for some reason he wasn't getting a lot of minutes and also he was playing very poorly in 1025 minutes they did play that season he got two goals and two assists which means that he had a goal contribution for every 256 minutes which obviously isn't the best stat in the world as basically a goal contribution every four games which to be fair considering most of those games he was coming off the bench getting 20 minute cameos it's not the worst thing in the world also at his time at Everton one of the most bizarre things to occur in recent history in the Prem happened where Moise Keane was brought on as a sub against Manchester United and was basically subbed off 18 minutes later now obviously this wasn't even off an injury he was totally fine he was just subbed off now Duncan Ferguson who was the manager of Everton at the time basically explained this by saying I had a lot of strikers in the bench and I was just trying to kill time considering he wanted to hold the result so he simply brought on one of his strikers it wasn't anything personal to Moise Keen, which is probably the case but what he failed to understand is that he probably destroyed his confidence his confidence was definitely hurt and you can see that considering they continued with his mediocre performances the next season though he was loaned out to PSG which is very interesting considering PSG had all that firepower and attack but they felt the need to get Moise Keen, and in fact Moise Keen, you would think that with PSG having all that depth you would think he would basically get no minutes but no he actually played 2469 minutes scoring 19 goals and also getting an assist so obviously going from that very bad season with Everton to this very very solid season with PSG was a very good thing even scoring against Barcelona in the Champions League and a 4-1 win away from home but after the season he was loaned out with an obligation to buy to Juventus again the season he had a lot of struggles considering he was rotating a lot of the time with Morata in the first half of the season and in the second half of the season it was even worse with Moise Keane basically becoming third option considering Vlaovic's arrival. This is another season where you could clearly see a lack of confidence in Moise Keane with him only managing to score six goals and get three assists and for the most part it seemed like it would be the same story for this season even though it has so far been a bit different. He needed until October to score his first goal of the season scoring against Empoli in a 4-0 win and even scoring a few days later against Benfica 
Benfica. This period throughout October slash November was a period where he was scoring a lot of goals due to the fact that Vlaovic had an injury so obviously Moise Keane was playing more minutes. As I said before he had the Ampoli and Benfica game where he scored and then he only played 28 minutes against Lecce then played against Inter due to inflammation but then scored one against Hellas Verona and even scored two other goals against Lazio. Now this run of form really reminded us about how talented they actually was. He was showing his speed, his technical ability, his finishing, all the good things that we have seen of him in the past. And you can clearly see that when he does gain confidence and goes on a good run of form, he can really turn into a very good player. And so far this season, he has played 23 matches, scoring six goals, doing all that in only 841 minutes of playing time, which means a goal contribution for every 140 minutes, which to be fair to Moise Keane, isn't the worst thing in the world, considering that's basically a goal every one match and a half. Moise Keane has shown that despite coming off the bench a lot of the times and barely playing any minutes, he can still contribute to a lot of goals. And to be honest, I think the only way we can make Moise Keane play better is for Allegri to put trust in him. It feels like when Moise Keane, he's getting the minutes that he wants, he's constantly playing 90 minutes, 90 minutes, 90 minutes. As soon as he gets that goal, he can gain a lot of confidence. And again, it isn't really a lack of talent that is hurting Moise Keane. It's more a lack of confidence. And in my opinion, if Juventus can find a way to give Moise Keane that confidence, he can turn into a really, really good player. A good case of this in football is the case of Vinicius Jr., who, as we remember, when he first signed for Real Madrid was a total mess, but then he gained the manager's trust starting game after game after game, and he only started to improve. And last season, he was basically one of the best wingers in world football, which can show you how a young player with a lot of talent who simply lacks confidence can turn into one of the best players in the world when given more opportunities. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What do you think events should do with Moise Keane, and can Moise Keane turn his form around? If you did enjoy this video, make sure to like, share, subscribe for more of this kind of content. I'll see you in the next one.